Hello. So following up on the social login feature, basically at the moment, we've made it so that the user can log into our application using his GitHub profile and our application grabs and saves into the database the user's GitHub email address. But there is much more data that we can grab from the user's uh, GitHub data, actually from uh, the end user's social data. If we go into the documentation of this gem Omnialth Google Auth 2, we can see information about the authentication hash. And there is a hash with different information that uh, our application can get from the authentication provider. It can be the uh, authentication provider name. It can be the uh, unique ID of the user in the database of this authentication provider. It can be the name of the user, the email address. It can be the image that the user has saved in the, that uh, authentication provider. So it can be the profile picture from Facebook or from Google or from GitHub, something like that. And we can uh, actually save this data inside our application. So let's try to do it and save the user's uh, GitHub, let's say GitHub name and GitHub image uh, inside our application. And also let's save the information that the user's provider is GitHub and that uh, his uh, unique ID is his uh, GitHub unique ID. So let's add these four fields into our database. Let's run a migration, Rails generate migration, add only out fields to users. And we will add four fields, name, image, uh, UID, so the unique ID and a provider. Okay, we created the migration. Let's have a look at it. Uh, see add only out to users. So just for additional fields, looks good. And let's run Rails DB migrate. Okay. Looks good. And now let's see at what point do we get the user's email address and save it in our database. Basically, if we go into user RB, we have this from OmniAuth uh, method. And in this method, we get this access token information. So we find the user by the email from this access token, and we can grab uh, some more details. For example, we can uh, also get the user's uh, get the user's provider UID info.name and info.image. Let's uh, say user dot, uh, let's say user dot uh, name equals uh, access token dot info dot name. Now, how do you know that is dot info dot name? Because name is nested inside info. Okay, so we get the user's name, we get the user image, it will be access token dot info dot name. Then we will also save the UID and provider. So we will say user dot UID equals access token dot UID without info. Why? Because UID and provider are not nested inside anything. So we will say UID equals access token dot UID and user dot provider equals access token dot provider. Looks good. And we should also call user dot save to have these changes actually persisted. You'll notice it later on. Okay, looks good. And uh, actually see here, we can also grab not data email, but we can uh, say something like uh, access token info email. So you see, we can just say uh, access token dot info dot email instead of uh, that other query. Okay, and it should work well. Here also I will say access token.info.email. And we can remove this data thing and looks better. Now let's actually see if it works. So I will uh, try to log in. Okay, uh, now I'm logged in. I will actually destroy my account now and try to create the account once again. So I sign in with GitHub. And it says successfully authenticated. Let's uh, see if uh, the data was actually persisted. So let's go into one of our views, for example, into the navigation. Let's go to views, layouts, application. And here, if the user is signed in, we will display the current user dot name equals current user dot name. And here we see the name Yaroslav Shmarov. So it grabbed my GitHub name, loose code. Let's do the same for image. 
and here we have a link to the image. Let's actually display the image. Let's say image tag current user dot image. Now it's really big, so let's decrease the size. Let's say uh, size something like this, I guess. Yeah, it works. So it's much smaller now. Then uh, we will display this image only if the image is present. So if uh, current user dot image. Otherwise, a user that doesn't have an image uh, will uh, give us an error because there is no image tag for an image that doesn't exist. Okay, and let's also display the UID and provider. So we will say UID and provider. Looks good. So we have my GitHub unique ID and we have uh, GitHub as a provider. So looks good. Basically, when I logged in with uh, GitHub, it uh, pulled up some additional data from my GitHub profile and looks really nice. And actually one more thing we can do is uh, add a custom button, sign in with GitHub, for example, in our navigation. Now this button is a button created by device, but we'll create a separate button on our own. So let's say if the user is signed in, we have a display of the current user name, UID provider an image. And if the user is not signed in, we will have a link to sign in with GitHub. So we will say link to uh, sign in with GitHub. And it will lead to OmniAuth authorize path. We will say OmniAuth for user and the provider is GitHub. Okay, and the method is post. And uh, looks good. Let's see if it works. So I press the button sign in with GitHub. And it worked, so I'm really signed in with GitHub. Now, just to make it a bit more beautiful, let's also say something like uh, data, and we will say disable with, and we will say connecting. So that when it uh, takes actually a few seconds for us to connect to uh, GitHub and uh, redirect to the GitHub page, it will have a beautiful animation. Now I press sign in with GitHub, and you see, we get this connecting. So works much smoother. And basically that's how we can add initial data from social providers. Everything we did is we added a migration where we added these uh, columns to our users table. And in user RB, I added these uh, columns and said that I want to save them. And you see, I can access the access token hash. So you can uh, read uh, through this hash and see what other information you would like to receive and persist inside your application. And notice that I also added all these uh, uh, not inside uh, this method, not here, not when I'm creating the user, but for all the users each time they log in. So that we always have the latest uh, name, the latest image of the user that just logged in. And that's basically it. So thanks for being with me. And never stop learning.